Back, the left's legal witch hunt of former President Donald Trump is in full swing again. What does this mean for him going forward into 2024 and his presidential run? Well, former prosecutor and constitutional law attorney and Newsmax contributor Amir Benno joins us now. All right, Amir, uh, this is something I was talking to some of the Trump team offline about this, and there are some concerns, pros and cons for a candidate now, Donald Trump, being investigated by a DOJ that's been appointed, obviously, by Joe Biden, the Democratic president. What protections and what concerns does a candidacy open up for those investigations? Well, good morning. Uh, the candidacy itself does not open up any protections. I mean, as a candidate, he's still able to get prosecuted. It may present some unique challenges for a candidate uh, who is being investigated and prosecuted. Oh, Amir, I think present political challenges in terms of garner challenge uh, uh, indicted. The the interesting thing to me on all of this is, and I heard Michael Grimm talking about this in the last segment as it applied to Joe Biden, is that once if he is elected president, if Donald Trump wins the primary and goes on to to win the presidency, he's protected by something called uh, the unitary executive doctrine, which is. Because we have just one president, any kind of uh, prosecution criminally of that president uh, is considered a prosecution of the presidency itself. And therefore, the doctrine has evolved that you can't criminally prosecute a sitting president. Uh, so whatever kind of criminal prosecutions are still ongoing at that point would have to halt immediately. Yeah. Well, the irony about the special prosecutor, um, he ha he prosecuted the Virginia governor a while back, and it was unanimously overturned by the Supreme Court. So I'm interested to see this guy's uh, legal bona fides in this. But do you think this is just going to be like another Russia gate? I mean, I, I get the feeling, and I made this point last night with Rudy Giuliani, which was, they're, they're investigating a man in search of a crime, not investing a crime in search of the man's relation to it. Yeah, Lavrenti Beria, right? Is that what it is? It's a, you show me the man, I'll find you the crime. Right. Um, there's no doubt about it that there is a political aspect to it. And as much as the DOJ wants to try to insulate itself by appointing a special counsel for this, um, the fact remains that it is still a, a political prosecution. Um, you know, I think the biggest concern for Donald Trump on this uh, is not going to be the January 6th investigation. Um, I think that they are going to be armed with all that information and evidence, quote unquote, evidence that the, the committee has gathered together. Um, but I think at the end of the day, where they're going to look is whether or not there was some obstruction uh, into the investigation regarding the documents at Mar-a-Lago. And that is a, a much more straightforward, clean-cut case. And so, uh, you know, or at least it presents more legal peril for him than the others do. Yeah. So let's let's dive into some of these uh, these investigations here. Um, they're saying it's they're investigating in January 6th and President Trump's potential involvement. I mean, obviously, we all know the clip where he said peacefully and patriotically make your way down to the Capitol and have your voices heard. Uh, but they're also investigating the uh, documents seized at Mar-a-Lago when the FBI kicked in the front door and, and told them they wanted to do all this stuff. Now, it's been widely covered in the press that they hadn't found anything they thought they were going to find or things that things that they knew were or thought they were criminal. So is this just an extension of the same garbage investigation? And if so, how does he shut it down? Well, you know, he's been fighting to shut it down in terms of he's gotten the special master appointed. He's uh, he's he's been working, uh, I think, pretty diligently to to put up as many defenses and to, to prolong this process process uh, as long as possible. And possibly, you know, that's what I would say good cr uh, criminal defense attorney advice is, you know, get into this race. It's it's fine for the political reasons uh, to try to clear the field, but it's also good for his uh, for his defense, his criminal defense, uh, if he anticipates that, in fact, there will be uh, a case brought by the DOJ against him. So getting to your point, yeah, he has to, to fend off those uh, those investigations. But uh, on January 6th, I don't think that it's going to be based so much upon his speech at the Ellipse. Yeah. That is, I think, uh, that is constitutionally protected. And that's why we haven't seen any incitement um, charges brought against anybody. It's going to be more focused, I think, on his efforts to get the, the slate of electors um, and to a secondary slate of electors and uh, to try to get legislators in various states to decertify. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be those efforts, the sort of thing that the Georgia right. 
uh, grand jury is investigating. And by the way, Carl, keep in mind that it's the the purview of this special prosecutor isn't just limited to Donald Trump. It's yeah. to anybody who is involved uh, in the post-election yeah. uh, those those activities. Yeah. And so it could be sitting Congress members, uh, which could potentially, uh, if they are criminally prosecuted, uh, could upset. Yeah. Since there's a, a very narrow majority now, well, Republican wise there, it could upset that balance. Yeah. So, well, and the, and the interesting part about this is, is there's been a number in going back in history of Democratic legislators that have not voted to certify results of elections going back 20, 30 years. So it is, you know, tit for tat here. All right, Amir Beno, appreciate the insight. Thank right. you. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.